Hey gals and guys, this is Michael Ferrari Cinema de Meep, and we're back with another unboxing. What do we have today? An actual box with stuff in it. Blu-rays! What are the chances? Let's see. Oh, we have one Blu-ray. Silent Partner. Two Blu-rays. Busting. Where did these come from? I think they came from Kino Lorber Studio Classics. Yes, Kino Lorber Studio Classics is having a sale. And I got Lost Highway, Busting and Silent Partner, and Mumford. What else did I get? Late for dinner. And Far From Heaven. And Glare from the lighting in this room. Black Moon Rising. Last but not least, Bitter Moon, the Roman Polanski film. Far From Heaven, the Todd Haynes film. We got a, we have a David Lynch film. We have a lot of great films here. Lawrence Kasdan film. Okay, so we have eight films here from Kino Lorber Studio Classics. Yes, classics to me. I bought them, I wanted to buy them, I wanted to own them in my collection because these are some of my favorites. Let's take a look at them closer. Starting with Lost Highway, the David Lynch film with Bill Pullman, Pashura Cat. You'll see a lack of special features in this one. No special features. Uh, they were set to have special features, but I think David Lynch should not approve of them. He wants to have it his way, which he is the filmmaker, so he is entitled to that opinion. But I think a lot of us who like Blu-rays like special features as well. So maybe one day we'll get one with special features. Until then, I'm glad to have it on Blu-ray. It's a 235 film, so it's shot wide, and it looks good on Blu-ray, I'm sure. I haven't seen it in a long time. It's one of my, one of my least watched uh, Stanley, uh, Stanley Kubrick movies. Ha ha ha. I still have Stanley Kubrick on the brain from um, the Terror Train um, <laughs> unboxing, but I mean, one of my uh, least watched David Lynch films only because um, it just hasn't been that available. Um, Busting is a gritty 70s cop movie with Elliot Gould and Robert Blake. Had to have that. Let's see, we have a commentary with the director, Peter Hyams. I'm a fan of Peter Hyams. Um, we got star Elliot Gould and film critic Kim Morgan doing a commentary as well. Trailers for Busting the Long Goodbye and Running Scared, which are all great, fun movies with uh, Elliot Gould and Running Scared, which was directed by Peter Hyams. Good stuff. I am a fan. That's on Blu-ray. Let's take a look at this guy. Oh, yes. The Silent Partner, which is a, a mostly forgotten gem. I think people who are fans of it, though, will remember it. Directed by Daryl Duke. It's written, though, by... Uh, let's see. Joel B. Michael, Stephen Young... Okay, this one has a interview with Elliot Gould, which is awesome. A commentary by film historian Howard S. Berger, Steve Mitchell, and Nathaniel Thompson. So three film historians came together and uh, talking about this film and the importance of it. Radio spot and theatrical trailer. Elliot Gould and Christopher Plummer give really good performances in this one. Down New York Senate. Okay, let's take a look at this guy. Who's this guy? Oh, we know this guy. Tommy Lee Jones, Linda Hamilton, and Black Moon Rising. Fans of 80s films will remember this one at the video store. A New World Pictures video on the shelves. Ooh, we got a lot of special features in this guy. Audio commentary by film historian Lee Gambin, the author of Hell Hath No Fury, Like Her, The Making of Christine, Black Moon Ascending, interview with director Harley Kokolos, 
Thief in the Night, producing Black Moon Rising, interview with Douglas Curtis, the producer. Sound of Speed, composing Black Moon Rising, interview with composer Lalo Schifrin and film music historian Daniel Schweiger. Carpenter's Craft, a video essay on co-writer John Carpenter's screenwriting career by author and critic Troy Haworth. Making Black Moon Rising, an archival documentary featuring behind-the-scenes footage and cast and crew interviews. Um, an alternative Hong Kong version scenes. Uh, pre- a presentation of selected scenes from the Hong Kong theatrical version with a different score and sound effects. That must be interesting. And then we have uncompressed uh, sound, 5.1, all that stuff, fun stuff, radio spots and theatrical trailer. Now, when someone um, is on here talking about John career, John Carpenter's career as a writer, and he was one of the writers, along with uh, Desmond Mackend and William Gray, who I believe wrote uh, Prom Night, if not mistaken, and Humongous. He's on here as a writer. John Carpenter. So this will be in our my John Carpenter section. Mumford is a charming Lawrence Kasdan film, which I've always been a fan of. I think it's uh, one of his maybe more underrated films. Like a lot of his films, it's an ensemble picture. It has a good cast, a lot of people in it. Okay, Hope Davis, Lauren Dean, Jason Lee. Mary McDonnell, David Pamer, Martin Short, Pro Taylor Vince, Alfred Woodard. Some interesting actors and pairings in this movie. Um, and I like its take on the characters and where it goes. And it has an interview with director Lawrence Kazan in a making of featurette and trailer. Um, so the interview with Lawrence Kazan is definitely the big get for me on this one because I don't think I've heard him talk about this one before. It's not one of his, like I said, more well-known films, so it's great that he's embracing it and talking about it on this Kino Lorber of a disc, and I like the artwork as well. And uh, when you watch the film, it makes sense. The brown paper bag. There's some, uh, it's an R-rated film, so there's some adult content in it, which is surprising for a Lawrence Kasdan picture. Late for Dinner is another charming film. I hadn't seen it in a long time. Uh, Brian Wimmer, Peter Berg, Marsha Gay Harden, and Peter Gallagher uh, head up this film, which was uh, done by W.D. Richter. I think he wrote and directed it. Well, he just directed it. He's usually a writer, too, but perhaps not credited. Mark was the Castle Rock picture with New Line. Um, charming film about these two guys who uh, kind of time has passed them by in a very fun movie way and then them trying to play catch up looking forward to uh, revisiting that one of course Far From Heaven is a classic film from the 2000s the aughts the naughties um, with Julianne Moore and Dennis Quaid, of course, Dennis Haysbert, uh, Haysbert, rather. Uh, I'm a fan of Tom Hayes' films. I think this is one of his uh, better ones. I think it's a good homage uh, to the melodramas of the 50s. And this one has a commentary with director Tom Haynes, the making of, as well as Anatomy of a Scene, featurette, filmmaker's experience, Julian Moore and Todd Haynes in the trailer. So some nice features put it over here on this film. Looking forward to seeing that on blue for the first time. And Bitter Moon, um, Roman Polanski's film with Peter Coyote, Emmanuel Senior, his then wife, Hugh Grant, and Kristen Scott Thomas. This one has an audio commentary by film historian Troy Haworth. An interview with Peter Coyote in the trailer. Now, Bitter Moon is a movie that I watched a lot when it came out. Uh, quite a bit on VHS. 
had a lot of rewatch to me, even though it's like a very long picture. It's like two hours and 20 minutes. And I'm not, I'm kind of famous for not really watching long movies that much. <laughs> I get kind of bored after a while. But uh, this one's really intriguing. Watching Pete Coyote and Emmanuel Senior play sex games and mind games. And that includes Hugh Grant and Chris and Scott Thomas. And it's a very adult film. And there's some interest, really interesting things it has to say about that and about uh, couples and relationships and, and the dark places they can go to. So eight pictures here, um, all different, all unique, all their own. Um, from Kino Lorber Studio Classics. Glad I picked them up during their sale. And I'm looking forward to opening them and watching them all. Thank you guys for watching this unboxing video. We'll be back for some more. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos. Ciao for now.